guys enjoying the show tonight? Yeah. Awesome. This is kind of a different venue for me. I'm not usually used to uh, these kind of fundraising things. I uh, perform in a lot of bars and restaurants all across the state. Like a couple weeks ago, I performed this uh, restaurant in Warwick. And uh, the crowd there was not really into me, so I had to shock them with some of my edgier material. So I did some of my best sex jokes, talking about different positions and different smells. <laughs> stuff. Didn't go over, did not go over. In fact, uh, so many older people in the crowd started to boo me, which caused some of the younger people in the crowd to, to cry. And then I was pulled off stage by the guy in the Chuck E. Cheese costume. This is some new territory for me. But, uh, what else? What else? Uh, I'm, from, uh, I'm from Pawtucket. And, uh, yeah. Let me just tell you, East Grange is quite a fancy town. It's a very fancy town indeed. I didn't realize I needed to get a time machine to come here, but. Uh, uh, fire exits are located over there. Uh, yeah, I grew up in Pawtucket. It was a, it was a, it was a good, it was a good town. It's a, I had a good childhood. I have to thank my father for that, because uh, and his job that he had it uh, really did it for me. He uh, he thought that he could make much more money if he uh, went in business for himself. So he became a panhandler. <laughs> He ran the whole operation on the back of our station wagon, which he called his home office, because it was his office and it really was our home. Fire exits are over there, by the way, folks. Yeah, it was, it was kind of rough growing up in the station wagon. I mean, we didn't have all the amenities like uh, kids have nowadays, like video games or vaccinations or anything. But uh, we did have a pet dog for like 13 years until I found out what a rat was. <laughs> we had this uh, hole in the uh, top of the station wagon, and on sunny days, we, we would call it our sunroof, and on rainy days, we called it our shower. <laughs> That's a joke. <laughs> oh, yeah, fundraisers, this is great, this is great. <laughs> I, uh, to be honest, fun is, uh, I was a kid, I used to sell those uh, candy bars, the fundraiser candy bars from my school. Any, uh, anyone familiar with that? I can't see anybody though, I can't even see what's going on over there. Yeah. Alright, you, you did, alright, awesome. You know, that's a great idea having kids sell candy bars, right? Like the one thing they love more than anything on the planet, they're going around selling. That's like if a homeless guy went around and started selling houses. <laughs> Just going to keep it, right? You know, and having kids sell candy, that's weird too, because your whole childhood, you told a stranger from a stranger for candy, and then they give you a bunch of candy and tell you to go meet strangers. <laughs> Doesn't make any sense. Not at all. Let's see what else. Oh, I just came back from the South. I spent a week down there in the South. That was seven days too long, I'll tell you that. I realized if you're down there for too long, it starts rubbing off on you. Like for me, I start talking with the accent. And then I started finding my sister attractive. <laughs> and she's ugly. She made things weird. Let's see. Uh, but it's great to be back up here in the... Whoa, that's, that's value. It's great to be back up here in the north, though, where people believe in things like shoes <coughs> and the dentist and how the Civil War really ended. <laughs> I'm sure they got like history books down there. I guess they just can't read them. I don't know. I don't know. Woo! Comedy! <laughs> Alright, uh, I don't know how much time I have left, but uh, I'll leave you with this. I was, uh, I was recently dumped. It kind of yeah, sucks. Um, I'm glad the relationship is over though, because uh, towards the end of it, I found out that she was sleeping around with the guys. Yeah, and she'd use our bed to do it in while I was still sleeping in it. Because we have those mattresses where you can put a glass of wine on one side of it and be a cheating whore on the other. And that glass of wine never tipped over. No, it did not. All right, that's it for me, you guys. Uh, you guys be great. Enjoy the rest of the show. Thanks for coming out. Thank you.